Hello everyone, Pokemon Trainer Matthew the Skunk here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. The last episode, we've gotten back here to Palatown and gave Professor Oak his parcel, which, which was the Pokeball, and they trust us to complete the Pokedex. So in this episode, we're going to be doing just that. Now, something I want to point out here is why is my Pokedex at 6 and my time is more efficient? Well, actually did a little trading because you can't do that in emulators you just gotta know how I'll provide a link in the description below on to the video of that so as you can see I got all three of the Kanto starters Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle so let's just move on to Route 1 and in this route I'm gonna be catching a few Pokemon here mainly Pidgey and Rattata I've already caught a Rattata because I had to use it for trading, so you see like a little Pokeball symbol on the side of it, that means I, would, I already caught it. Oh boy, critical hit! And I sort of used some of my money that I had. Let's see if I get some Pokeballs as well. Just want to make sure of something real quick here. Um, I'm gonna... Down that. And do that. And there we go, we caught Pidgey! I think I'm going to be giving a nickname to Pidgey, but first we have to do his date on the Pokedex. Pidgey, the tiny bird Pokemon, does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass and so on, foraging for food and such as small bugs. Yeah, I'm going to give a nickname to Pidgey. Now, like I, when I played this game before, I caught up male Pidgey, but I named it the same thing, so <laughs> since it's a female, I'm going to name it after Harry's Owl. Hedwig. I'm going to look at the Pokedex real quick, because I want to go over Raditz's Pokedex entry here. Raditz of the Mouse Pokemon. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. And now, that's it. Okay. Moving on right along here. Got a Rattata here. We do got a Rattata. Uh, just keep tackling it until it's ready for catching. Do do do. Oh jeez, don't knock it out. Don't knock it. Don't knock it out. Please don't knock it out, Bulbasaur. Please don't knock it out, Bulbasaur. Please don't knock it out. Oh good. Good 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 good. good, good. Like I said before, as you can see, I bought my Pokeballs with my money here. Yay! Sorry, since I already caught a bunch of Raditzes for trading, I already went over the Pokedex entry for Raditzes. We don't need to. We need to worry about that anymore. Like I said in the last episode, I'm gonna be abusing the friggin' spacebar speed up here. Just gonna be Pokemon Center here. Okay, we're going to be going off here toward Route 22 here, because there's two more Pokemon that you can catch. We got, I believe there's a Ma Wild Mankey and Wild Spearow on this route. I think you can also find the Spearow in another route too, but we'll go over that later. For now, let's go in here. Let's grab us try to get, catch a Mankey. We got a Mankey here. Oh, critical hit. I'm so glad I did not knock it out. And go Pokeball. Now, like I said, if I don't have any nickname ideas for my Pokemon, I will try to come up with them later. Because you do have the name raider somewhere along the line in this game. And so I'm going to try and look for a Pidgey here, too, so... It might take me a while, so I'll just try to be quiet and try to see if I can find one. Oh yeah, I forgot you also find wild rats in here too. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Ah, come on, stupid freaking mankeys. Oh 
Oh my god, I'm not gonna be aimlessly going on like this stupid Spiro. I don't know how much, what percentage encounter rate that this Spiro has, but I'm guessing it's not that high. Ugh, <laughs> oh, come on! Like, you know what? I'll, I'll go and catch the Spiro later when I have the time. I'll just keep on going here. Oh, he's got this freaking old man here. Here's old man's gonna show us how to catch a Pokemon. Of course, he catches this stupid Weedle with a Pokeball at full health. <laughs> oh, sad to catch one with a not. Here, take this too. And he gives us the Techie TV. Okay, what I wanted to show off before in the first episode of Going Around Viridian Sea was the gym here. I'll we'll go over to the sign first. Viridian City Pokemon Gym. What kind of gym is always closed? I wonder who the leader is. Yeah, I'm wondering about it too. If we try to go into the gym, the doors are locked! No! Actually, I'm gonna go and grab that potion over there. Items pocket. Take one on Merry Way. Here we go into Route 2, which we can find some more Pokemon here. I believe we can find Caterpie and Weedle on this route here, but they're in another part of the game too. This here is the entrance to the Viridian Forest. Let's talk to these people here. Viridian Forest, natural maze in there. Be careful, you don't get lost. Rats may be small, but don't underestimate its wicked bite. Have you caught one already? Yeah, I caught a lot because I've been trading. Here we go, into our first official dungeon, Viridian Forest. I came here with some friends to catch some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get into some Pokemon battles. First things first. Try and avoid some of the Pokemon here and try to find some items. I think here in Viridian Forest you can also find Pikachu as well, but it's a low rate encounter, so I'm gonna try and see if I can go that. And here we have Caterpie here. Let's find the wheel in here as well. Like I said, even though I'm not gonna be trying to complete the Pokedex, I will catch all the Pokemon that I can and we'll try to get. I just see Caterpie will evolve into Metapod at a certain level, and its third evolution form is Butterfree. As for Weedle, it evolves into Kakuna, and then into Beedrill, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, Caterpie was caught. And the Pokedex. Caterpie, the worm Pokemon, that is covered with the green silk. When it grows, it sheds skin and covers up the silk and becomes a cocoon, in which it evolves to Metapod. Item over there. There's a Pokeball here. Let's see if we can find the deal in here too. I think if I find and catch Wheel and Pikachu, I'm probably gonna end up the episode here because I don't wanna dawdle for too long because my show is on and <laughs> neglecting to watch it. And there we go, there's a cocoon of the evolved form of friggin' Weedle. I'm not gonna be catching that, so let's just run away from it. But yeah, I think in Fire right here, Weedle and Cocoon are the uh, highest rated encounters here, and I think. Excuse me. 